Thank you, good morning. Uh, thanks for accepting this uh, communication. This is only an experiment because we are in an initial moment uh, with our research. But we are now for uh, seven years that we work with this uh, kind of subject with students. So it's a, a double idea of topic to, to develop. Um, you know, Spain, you have, uh, Spain and the peninsula, uh, you have a, a huge number of abandoned and inhabited villages. Uh, I don't know if more or less than other countries, but we have a big concentration in the Pyrenees. The Pyrenees has been a space of a great migratory, uh, pendular movement of people, uh, for, uh, migratory flow since 19th century. It's also a place of borders and, and boundaries of exchanges, but also conflicts in the, in the centuries, in different centuries. And in the last century, the most important was the effects of the Spanish uh, Civil War. So destruction, exile, social control, migrations, uh, etc. Uh, the role of archaeology in face to a large number of uninhabited villages we thought uh, was uh, very interesting and uh, did not exist uh, a very large number of works uh, around this, this subject. And also, it's evident, if we have uh, a huge number of uh, abandoned villages, we have also landscapes transformation with uh, very evolutions. So the aim is the concentration of abandoned villages and information they can give us uh, could be interesting like an instrument of research and an experience in archaeology. I, I pass very, very quick this one because it's only for us. Is that the, the idea of uh, we work uh, about the conceptualization of what is a, an abandoned uh, village, abandoned and inhabited, uh, the idea of uh, dead village, god village. Uh, if we search in different um, parts of, of the world or, or uh, researchers, everyone uh, take one <coughs> and another word concept for that. So we work about that. We have a, a part only dedicated to the conceptualization of this approach, uh, like in an approach to an international comparison. For us, it's very interesting to uh, thought about, we are working only on a settlement, on a village, on a municipality, because you know, uh, you can have a municipality who have three, four, ten villages. No, a village is not a municipality. So uh, we have to decide where uh, we, are, we want to, to work about. And in the 60s, in 1960s Spain, too many uh, villages uh, lost the, 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 the capacity of gestion. Um, and the current issues, the phenomenon of the neo-ruralism or the tourism, like holidays, uh, residences, people of Barcelona who goes to the, to the mountain and others have a second house there, and they uh, want to have a special place. So sometimes they want to uh, go to this abandoned villages, it's different like to live or to go to like a, a tourist. The researches of on abandoned villages in the peninsula and Europe in general is not very developed. We can find uh, some groups about that, but uh, not especially, for example, in our places. In Catalonia you have a very little uh, group of research in geography, for example, who works about the little, little, little villages, the effects of the migration, etc. Or, for example, in Aragon, you have a very big uh, institution, a, polit a political institution, who works uh, on the uh, little villages. Uh, so, what has been done in the Pyrenees from the disciplines of geography, history, archaeology, heritage studies, etc. Because we work on this, on this. Uh, project, uh, I'm a historian with an archaeologist and a geographist, and you know, we are for different kinds of, of and also <coughs> a philologist. So we have to decide the topologies of, of villages, 
interest, which is interest for the local, regional, national, universal history to, to, to why we want to work about these, these places. The choice of the Pyrenees is not all the Pyrenees. We have to, to decide <coughs> which kind and where in the, in the Pyrenees. For a historical, geographical criteria, population we have chosen the territorial scope of Al Pirineo Yaran. Al Pirineo Yaran is a high Pyrenees, and the Val d'Aran is an institutional definition for six, we, we, we say here, comarcas, regions, uh, ancient counties, uh, valleys, etc., with Sardinia, Alt Urgell, Pallas Subirà, Pallas Jussà, Alta Ribaosa. Valderan. You know, we are in Barcelona, so it's only this part of the uh, Pyrenees there. Okay? So, the population of Alpino Iran has decreased about 30% between the 19th century and actually. Uh, although the economic boom of the beginning of the 21st century with the crisis, again, uh, this population did provoke a demographic decline about 7%, and in 1,050 years, Alpine Oran has lost one of each three inhabitants. And now, the current population density of this territory area is about 12 inhabitants in kilometer. Uh, we have zones, areas, about four or five inhabitants, like Sahara. Okay? to have a, a comparison <laughs> you well, this is I pass because we have that. But this is very interesting, this is Catalonia, this is the concentration of inhabitants in, in, in Catalonia, and we are talking about this area. And the most interesting is that you have here the six zones, the six comarcas, and you have in red the abandoned villages. You have in when the maybe uh, villages who have neuroblasms and others, and in what, you know, uh, less, less than 10. So if you <coughs> do the, the, the image, you have very, very strong concentration of deserted, abandoned villages, etc. So, we worked about the reasons of the depopulation, economic factors, the demand of labor force of the 19th and 20th century, the war conflicts. Poles of attraction is very interesting because it's not uh, mm. Barcelona only, it's also the principal, uh, the main uh, villages or towns near the, these, these zones. And the equipment, infrastructures, the decisions in the, in the management, in the territorial management, uh, especially during the, the Frank, Fra Francoism, because uh, it's, it's a political decision to uh, to do uh, so, some choose uh, for one or another, and the difficulties of the perennial physical environment, so it's, it's obvious, and other reasons. So, for us, the Pyrenees is an open cast archaeological site. This is the idea, no? Uh, abandoned structures, Remains of habitat structures related to economic labor activity, fields, plots, we can't find and we can work about uh, uh, research terraces, walls, dry stones, pathways, communication routes, etc. Uh, we can focus on the modern contemporary uh, area and we can't work with archives, personal documentary, uh, houses who have uh, uh, papers, etc. Photographies. Many structures are in process or quite down, and this allows you to see how it was built, but also how the structures collapsed. And this is very interesting for the idea for our students because they can know how is the the the, the, the inverse process of the, of the, this uh, research uh, in archaeology, no? and obviously the effects. In the light, on the light, landscape, uh, landscape. We have a, a, a methodology uh, 
to measure the impact of the of this abandon. <coughs> also, we had instruments like uh, to see the the the, the, the forest, uh, the reforestation, etc., services, economic activity, etc. And uh, we, we use uh, cartography, uh, photographies, oral oral sources, archives, etc. And the main aims are obviously this uh, research and also the project uh, with the students. It's a, a double a double project here. We only show you two cases of, of studies. Well, we have, you know, uh, many many. Uh, villages that we, we are uh, working about, but only here I, I show you two. Banieras in Alt Urgei is uh, located about uh, 1,300 meters above the sea level and abandoned about uh, 1980. And we have studied the process of abandonment, why uh, the process, the people, but for example, once abandoned, the house of the town was sacked, the church was also abandoned the plunder, and later on, the vault collapsed and the cemetery was filled with crumbles, etc., etc. Uh, there was an attempt of recuperation in 1990, that is a failure, because it's impossible to go there, and uh, we do a failed study and prospection recovery space. This where it's located, near Andorra, no, in the south of Andorra, and, you know, the difficulties to, to our city, but, uh, we have this possibility to, to work with uh, the, the, the settlements and, and, the, and the students and us who are there to have a prospection to develop a, a proposition of, uh, of this, of this uh, site. Another example, Yastari, this is more on the, on the west located also uh, 1,000 above the sea level. And <coughs> this is an example uh, of work done only by students, okay? Uh, historical students, the study with bibliography, oral sources, written sources. Uh, they discovered the existence of remains of an ancient castle, uh, difficulty of access, evolution for study, prospection, etc. And we can see here the effects uh, the social people who, where did they go, uh, did they go uh, which were the, the changes in, in the landscape. Uh, we have here the, the, the situation where the settlements, where the, the, the village, where the, the parties of the, is uh, the ancient uh, church, okay? And this is encrusted in the, in the, in the stones, in the, with the dry stones. You have a part of the painting is like that. The other part is a romantic. <laughs> okay, and you, we have the possibility of work in very different uh, ways, like symmetry with marble uh, there. Okay, and ancient photographies to compare, to make comparison, to know where are every place. So. In uh, conclusion, does it really become an extraordinary open cast archaeological site thanks to, <laughs> thanks to uh, the high number of abandoned villages? Uh, and finally, the systematic study of the abandoned villages or the chosen pioneer area can provide data, uh, the idea is to, to do a, a, a better days, on the real effects of economics, political, social behavior, and ideologies during the 20th century, 19th century, for example, and it being carried out thanks to, especially, an inventory. So we make an inventory of every uh, place, a multidisciplinary research, and with the teaching portals and student stages in, the, in, this, in these places. So thanks for your attention.